then just because Vancouver met them doesn't mean that they are no longer uh, illegal. But uh, the fact that uh, they want to apply to have uh, an assembly in a stadium, there are many ways to apply. It doesn't have to be under the, under the platform of per se itself. But I, it's, it's just all speculative because unless they make the application, we will not know. And the decision made by ROS uh, in declaring them illegal was based on the um, AG's uh, advice under the law. The idea is talking about a fair and free uh, general election, and that's what the government wants anyway. So if you want to have it at the stadium, why should a T-shirt or a name be an issue here? Let's not be distracted from the core matter that they are supposed to be fighting for, which is fair and free elections. But uh, the fact is that the, there is now an opportunity for them uh, to uh, voice their concerns uh, in, an, in, in a safe and orderly manner. Let's follow the process. I have been very consistent. It's all about security. We have now given space for them to do it, um, to do otherwise and make more demands. Not only does it look uh, unfair, but you're changing the goalposts. And it, it casts doubts as to what are your true intentions. That's because before, before there was no uh, other avenue but um, on the issue of street demonstrations. But now we have an alternative. Isn't that a positive movement? I would like to monitor and see what is their reaction to the latest developments here in Malaysia. But if they still see it as a crackdown when we are giving them space to actually um, gather in a stadium, then they are prejudiced, they are biased, and then they are not being fair to the government.